Hey everyone, welcome back to um, our walk through the book of Proverbs. Why don't you go ahead and read Proverbs chapter two in your favorite Bible translation and um, you can press pause and then we'll get right back in to the lesson for today. So today we see that this proverb has two major sections. The first section talks about the benefits of wisdom and the second section talks about um, how we need to walk in the way of the pure and how wisdom can save us from the woman that is promiscuous. So you're gonna start to notice in the book of Proverbs that there are two women that are primarily described. One is wisdom that has a voice, behavior, and influence, and the other one um, is promiscuous or folly. Proverbs 8 is going to talk to her as like, as the one who is uh, called folly. Um, there's also the immoral woman. And so what the writers of Proverbs is tr are trying to do is give you contrast, right? What are the kind, if I choose not to walk in the wisdom of God, what are the things I can expect and encounter in daily life? What kind of enticements, what kind of temptations, what kind of challenges am I gonna face um, if I choose to ignore the prompting and of the wisdom of God? So I believe that today the application for us is to recognize that there is another voice. Yesterday we talked about wisdom has a voice, right? Today we have to recognize that there is another voice that tries to compete in our lives where wisdom, where God wants us to connect with him through the fear of the Lord, through our humility, through our obedience to his principles. There's another voice that's rooted in the kingdom of darkness, and it's the voice of immorality. It's the voice of enticement. It's the voice of temptation. It's the voice of folly or foolishness that would cause us to um, miss our destiny. So I love how this proverb opens up. And in the Passion Translation, it reads, my child, will you treasure my wisdom? As a question. And then it says, then and only then will you acquire it. So yesterday we talked about the fact that we have to desire wisdom and that the Lord will give us that desire. But we have to desire it, treasure it, guard it, to walk in the wisdom of God. And so verse two says, train your heart to listen. Train your heart to listen when I speak or tune your ears to wisdom and concentrate on understanding, right? Treasure the commands of God, tune your ears to hear it, tune your heart, incline your heart to reach for it and concentrate on understanding. You know, we don't have that long of attention span <laughs> anymore. And what we have to recognize is that our whole lives, we've listened to all kinds of voices. We've been, we've been influenced by so many kinds of things, good and bad, right? But the greatest influence now that we are um, children of God and kingdom citizens and walking in our purpose is recognizing that the biggest influence in our life really needs to be our Father God and what he has to say and what he wants us to understand. And so what I love, verse three says, cry out for it, right? Cry out for it, get desperate. I mean, we get desperate about a lot of things, but hey, it's time to get desperate for the wisdom of God and to ask for understanding and to search for it, to, to go out of our way, to search for it, inquire of it, cry out for it, desire for it, and then we'll understand what it means to have the fear of the Lord. So the fear of the Lord we talked about yesterday is that deep reverence, that place of humility and obedience before the Lord that um, dismantles pride and religion in our lives. And it's amazing because from that place, that's how we actually get to know our Father God. And he grants us wisdom. He grants it to us. And everything he speaks is wisdom. Everything he speaks is knowledge and understanding. And it's to be treasured. So I just want to challenge you today to find an, a life application. What are some decisions you have to make today or some things that you're going to be um, encountering today? Do you have meetings? Do you have 
things that you need to apply the wisdom of God. Jot those things down um, really quick in your journal because that's where we're going to cry out, we're going to desire God's wisdom, and we're going to, we're going to believe that the Lord is going to meet us at the point of our faith today and that he is going to apportion to us the wisdom that we need to walk out today, right? Here's the other thing that I believe is a rhema for us um, that you may have, it may have touched your heart while you were reading it on your own. But verse seven says, he grants a treasure of common sense to the honest. He is a shield to those who walk in integrity. So we, some of us, we, we would say that common sense isn't common, right? But God, he wants to give us common sense. And if we'll be willing to walk in integrity, he'll guard us. He'll make sure that nothing happens to us. Sometimes, even in the business realm, there are risks that we take, just conversations we have, um, deals we work with. And sometimes we don't know all the risks. We, we can't know everything. God knows everything everything, but we can't know everything. And so he actually is a shelter to those who walk in integrity. Did you get to Rhema? Did you write that down or highlight it in your Bible or on your tablet? Because I want to um, encourage you to now write a decree for today or a declaration, right? So let's do that together. I decree and I declare that I incline my heart and I tune my ears to the wisdom of God. I increase in understanding and insight as I desire more of God. Simple. It's a simple decree. All right, let's pray together. Father, I thank you, Lord, for today. I just bless your holy name, and I thank you that you're causing us to cry out and to desire your wisdom, to walk in your precepts, to walk in your word, and to know the spirit of wisdom, to know the Holy Spirit as not just the spirit of truth that leads us into truth, but also the spirit of wisdom. So Lord, we thank you that wisdom can be acquired as we honor you, as we worship you, as we exalt you, as we lift you up as a source of all wisdom in our lives. We give you glory for what you're doing today. Help us to search for the wisdom today and apply it in Jesus' name. Amen.